So your plants in your yard, they really rely on proper watering for continued success. We Skyped earlier this morning with Karen Bachman Tool from Bachman's talking watering, getting tips on keeping that garden hydrated. Hey Karen, it's nice to see you. This is kind of the greatest time of the summer to really be enjoying our gardens, our yards, everything's blooming, looking good, but we want to keep it looking good for as long as possible, right? That's exactly right. There's so many things to celebrate outdoors in our landscapes right now. All of our summer annuals are flourishing. Um, anything that you might have planted in your landscape has established itself um, and we're looking forward to fall favorites coming along but it's really important to water and to keep that up and so today I'm going to share a few tips of um, how to water successfully um, when to do it and kind of the tools that you need to be successful. Cool. Karen is it more important to water now in August and going into September than it was in June or July? That's a great question. So in the dog days of summer, um, oftentimes our annuals, so like hanging baskets or things in containers, um, they're kind of on their last life. They have one more final push. And so to keep them watered, sometimes a couple times per day is really important. Um, it's always important to water early in the morning, usually between uh, 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. Um, that will give your uh, plants an opportunity to soak up the most moisture, but it also mitigates any sort of fungus or disease that can form from having too much moisture. Now, this week we've had the benefit of Mother Nature providing us with lots of rain, mm -hmm. and typically our plants in our landscape need about one to two inches per week. If they're not getting that, then some great opportunities are to use sulfur hoses, for newly planted trees, you can use something called, it's a bladder that goes at the base of the tree or even a gator bag. I have that um, displayed up here. And that's going to give your trees a deep, long soak um, and give it the water that it needs to really establish deep roots. So those soaking bags, for example, is that better than like, say, like having a, the old advice used to be, you like have like a little trickle of water from your hose going in? It, it's just more convenient yeah. to have one of these bags. Um, you see them along boulevard trees quite a bit. Right. And you can simply put the hose into the bag and fill it up every week. But you're right, Jason, you know, the nice slow um, trickle of water is going to give um, your trees or newly planted perennials that really deep soak. And, and that is what's important, especially if you've planted new trees um, or perennials. Um, time to establish and really establish that root system that will help them thrive next year. I guess I'm a little surprised that you said water maybe a couple times a day there. If we don't get this rain in, let's say, late August, should we be watering every day? Should we be watering every other day to get that, that one inch a week? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a great question. Usually in the fall, um, you know, we do have uh, rainstorms that will help us. Um, but people often forget to water their containers. When you transition to mums or some of your fall favorites here, um, for some reason, people maybe tend to neglect that and don't treat them the same way as like your hanging baskets yeah. or your summer annuals. So you wanna give those a soak just like you would um, any other time. You're, you're, Karen, you're not saying you water the lawn twice a day. You're no. saying those hanging those baskets, baskets and other stuff. Right. 100 percent yes yeah, very yeah good. because those do dry out faster makes sense good stuff karen yeah. thank you thank you thank you have a great day